Hi YouTube, welcome back. Um, today we're going to have a quick flick through the uh, February issue uh, of Airfix Model World, which is February 2022 and issue 135. So we have on the front some nice um, artwork of a Tempest. Uh, first look at Airfix's brand new 172 scale Tempest Mark V. We have the small scale big hit 172 Sherman Flyfy, Firefly VC, uh, and also Hong Kong Models 148 scale Lancaster B Mark I. Another thing which is in here which I quite liked was there's a Mandalorian supplement, but it only does two of the spacecraft from it. Now, so let's go through. So we have the Welcome To issue and featured is the Thai Outlander um, as seen towards the end of season one of The Mandalorian. Now, you will see that again a bit later on as we flick through um, in the Mandalorian section and I'll tell you my gripes about the Razor Quest, re Razor Crest release and the Thai Outlander release. So looking at the contents, okay, we also have a French plane. This um, rather interesting uh, potential concept experimental plane, and this is in 124 scale, uh, obviously the Sherman, the Tempest, and a Russian heavy load mobility carrier. So in the other video you would have seen me talk through the releases from Airfix this year. And as we move forward we have some new releases uh, and one that I quite like the look of is this um, from Edward and they are Tornado upgrade sets for um, they're 172 scale, uh, or rather four 172 scale tornadoes. Um, you have uh, underwing stores as well as a, t a tornado GR1 cockpit. Um, and I think these will be great upgrades to any um, tornado kit in 172 scale that you might currently have in your stash. Now the other thing that caught my eye was this 135th scale uh, tank ma maintenance set from Mini Art. And as I understand it, it comes with a Panzer IV um, and all the lifting gear, tackle and work, benches, tools, etc. to make a really nice diorama, including a pre-formed base. Now this kit retails at $79.99, but I think that's going to be really good value. For the science fiction modelers amongst us, um, Sci-Fi Aftermarket Specialist a Green Strawberry is offering a trio of detail sets for Revel's USS Voyager spacecraft now combined um, as a fruit pack boxing. So you can have uh, Photo etch P uh, metal parts with sprinkling of resin to upgrade. Uh, there's also uh, the shuttle bay upgrade. Um, photo etch components, uh, etc., with smaller details to form Voyager's shuttle bay. Uh, recesses on many parts are held by the two relatively thin frets to produce an appreciable sense of depth, and there are fine grill railing sections. But the one that I quite like is. They also do a landing gear set, um, which means that if you wanted to put Voyager down on a planet or on a landing pad, you could do that now. Uh, and that's all for the Revel USS Voyager. So we have some stuff for the show guide. What I will do is I will take a photo of that and I will insert it so that you can um, pause and have a look and see which um, shows are coming up. Uh, it's just a small selection of shows, uh, but one that I'm interested in going to will be the February 19th and 20th Tank Museum 
uh, Southwest Model Show Spring Edition. So I, I'm hopefully going to that. Uh, so if you see me wandering around looking a bit lost, uh, by all means say hello. Then we have some info on our local clubs. Advertising for the subscriptions to Model World magazine. And then we have this great article on the um, 132 scale uh, Tempest, which is being released by Revel. Now, I originally, when it said 132 scale, by Revel. I initially thought it was going to be some form of Matchbox re-release, but it's not. Apparently this is a special hobby reboxing. Um, so hopefully if it's a more recent tooling, the detail should be sharp, crisp and fine. But this build goes into um, photo etch and resin upgrades. And as with these builds within this magazine, they show you the um, build paint and weathering. So it's a great article. Definitely come and have a read of it. Uh, and you can see the finished article at the end. Now an advert that really did catch my eye was this 172 scale hardened aircraft shelter uh, frontage. It's basically the hangar doors for the has. For those of us that grew up in the 80s, um, we probably saw a lot of uh, documentaries or news uh, articles of aircraft scrambling from these. And certainly things like the Tornado uh, interceptors at the time uh, were deployed from these and now obviously Eurofighter Typhoon and others. So if you want to add a little bit of depth and interest to a display, I think this would be a really good addition. There's a small Yeovil Model Show article here and one of the minis that takes my attention is this nice World War I Mark V female tank in 135 scale. That was, that was a really, I think that's a really nice build. Right, now, this is, a, this is an article that I really enjoyed. The 172 scale Sherman Firefly VC kit from Airfix. Now this build, it's a basic build, but what I like about this basic build is it gives like new modelers um, tips on how to do some extra detailing uh, for this particular model. And although it's still basic, it can add e extra depth to the kit itself. And I think one of the easiest things that they explain here are, you can see these white panels, okay? So these are just the additional armor, uh, applique armor that was um, added to the sides um, and sometimes the front of Sherman tanks in order to help try and defeat the dreaded 88 uh, millimeter or the 75 millimeter rounds from the um, German armor. Um, but it also goes into uh, some other little things like um, adding sandbags to the front and adding some uh, rope to secure your stowage down and as well as going through some basic weathering techniques. So a great article, really good for beginners, I think. <coughs> the magazine, I feel, would be worth getting just for this article alone. We then have a 148 scale Dora Wings Marcel Block MB152. Uh, French aircraft company Marcel Block produced several MB150s uh, during the 1930s. So this is an interesting interwars aircraft that I think would be a great build. And this article is listed as an intermediate build. 
the thing that I like is certainly the interesting tail and engine cowling uh, striping. Now, we then have a great article on the Tempest um, within the magazine. Uh, it's in focus, it's a few pages long, and it just goes through production, origins, and its um, history. And here we have the 172 scale Hawker Tempest, uh, Tempest from Airfix. So, again, this is um, a build which goes through the build and painting and some weathering. We then get to one of the areas I quite liked, which was the Mandalorian um, special supplement. And this features the Thai Outland and the Razor Crest. Now, um, I'm, I'm gonna have a little bit of a whinge here because I think that um, many kit manufacturers, and Revel is actually quite bad for this, a lot of their kits are not in the same scale. So you have like, if you take their Star Trek range, like their Kazon Raider, uh, Voyager and Marquis Raider were all done to different scales, which I can understand why, uh, because if you were to do them in just one scale, then obviously these ships would be much smaller in comparison to, say for example, Voyager. So they, they up the scale to make them of a reasonable size. But I would have liked to have seen all of those ships done in one scale. You know, if, if they'd have just, for example, said, right, well, we're gonna do them in one 500 scale, right? And done all of those in the one scale. And it's the same here, the Razor Crest, the Razor Crest and the Tie Outland are two different scales. So you couldn't have them in the same diorama. So the Razor Crest is 172, uh, but the Tie Outland is in 165. Now I don't know how much of the, how much of a visible difference that will make if you were to diorama them together, but um, it's a shame that they're not together. And now I know Bandai have released a range of 172 scale um, fighters, and I think the Millennium Falcon in 172 scale, and I think that's great. But um, Bandai. Uh, from experience, um, I've had trouble trying to locate and get Bandai kits here in the UK. So someone like Revel, who in the past have released other uh, sci-fi genres like Battlestar Galactica, etc. I think they're missing a the trick in not making the, um, certainly these ships to the same scale. But great article, goes through the build, the detailing, the interior detail, the detailing is fantastic. Um, shows you the weathering um, and some other bits and pieces for the build on the Razor Quest. And it's the same with the Thai Outland. Um, shows you the detail inside and you can pose this in several different ways. A landed, uh, fly in, landing gear up, landing gear down, etc. Okay. Right, so we have another intermediate build article here, this time for a Russian um, 135 scale uh, transporter and semi-trailer. Uh, this is for heavy armor. So I think if somebody was to do a diorama with this showing um, Russian armor loaded on top of this, whether it be uh, an SPG or uh, uh, an MBT, maybe even the new um, Armata T14 uh, MBT that uh, Russia has um, produced, I think that would make a really good diorama. So again, full build and weathering. We then have a feature on the model show. Uh, that was held at the police um, event held by the first police force club to be established in the UK and a return 
to shows in Birmingham after a year's absence. So some nice minis. Um, two that I particularly liked was this balcony scene from the uh, Iranian Embassy Siege and this 1700 Hunt Class Destroyer. I quite liked both of those. Now this was the 124 scale uh, Bugatti 100p that was in the contents page uh, and it's the 124 kit that I told that I mentioned and it's a very interesting concept. Now this has been built and painted in what the modeler has considered to be a potential racing colours for this aircraft. The kit itself is a resin model uh, I and mean it's a hundred uh, sorry two hundred and twenty five dollars from the Fisher model and pattern company but again full build and painting and then we come on to the 148 scale Avro Lancaster B Mark 1 um, and this is from Hong Kong Models. Now, this is available in the UK at £119.99. And again, full build, weathering, painting, etc. Um, one of the things I found quite interesting was the way that they divvied up the um, wing uh, from the uh, routes where the engine cowlings finish so that they can mark the trails for the exhaust fumes um, more accurately and more precisely. Uh, okay then we get through to the a roundup of new kits, books at, and aftermarket parts etc. So we have plenty of new books coming in one that caught my eye was Naval Workhorses, British Sloops and figures, uh, Frigates of the Second World War. Now this is done by Les Brown. Uh, this is the same um, company that did the book that I use for reference for my Flower Class Corvette build. They are great books, uh, really go into the detail and the history of the um, types of ships that they're looking at. We then have some uh, kits. Now I quite like the look of this C-130J from Svezda. Um, there's also a nice 172 uh, de Havilland Vampire here um, and this one um, is from Special Hobby uh, and it's retailing at 16 euros 30 um, so obviously you would need to have a think if you're in the UK have a think about if you want to have that sent over if you can't get it in the UK because uh, I'm not entirely sure what's happening with import duties etc since um, the Brexit disaster um, we've then got some more kits and we have some armour. Now, one that I quite like the look of is this BTR50PK, which is based on the PT76 tank chassis. And as I understand it, it's, am it's an amphibious APC. Um, this is being released by Revel. And also in 172 scale modern armour is this... Um, SAS Bushmaster Australian vehicle. Um, now both of those I think would be great additions to anybody's modern uh, warfare diorama builds. So have a look out for those. The BTR60 is 19 euros 99 from Revel Germany and the Bushmaster is 26 99 from hobbyco.net. Right, we then get into some aftermarket resin bits and then some more civilian vehicles. And in this one, I can see that we've got the Beetle uh, Beach Buggy, 
which according to this is the first time that this has been released, re-released since 1979. So I'm sure there will be plenty of people who built one of these as a kid will happily go down the nostalgia trail in order to get one and buy it uh, and build it again. And this one is $9.99, available from Airfix. Uh, decals. And that was more or less that for the decals. We then have some aftermarket resin and photo etch parts, mostly for aircraft. But one thing which did stick out was this 172 scale aircraft tug. Now, this is um, was seen on many RAF airfields and I think that this would be a great addition um, if you were to include it with your HAZ um, aircraft shelter doors which we saw earlier on in the magazine um, you know towing or pushing a aircraft back into the shell hardened shelter I think that would make a great diorama um, it's 25 pounds and that's from Air Graphics UK And then we just get into a few more pages of ads. And finally, the display case, which is reader models. And next month, issue 136 will be on sale in UK shops from February 3rd. So there you go. That is the flick through for this month's Airfix Model World. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know in the comments if there's um, any sort of preference that you would have um, had to uh, maybe expanding on any of the articles that are within the magazine and just talking about them a little bit more. And I will hopefully see you on the next one. All right, take care. Bye.